These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Really helping out here and just utilizing the Gravitum very, very well. It is going to be Lucid securing that first grub. He's not going to come on over. And now the Megana and the Sejuani and Bristle going to make their way over the back wall and so it is going to be one grub going to peanut here we had to collect that for at least the experience but helping out aiming's getting the plates here again another yeah. plate to the Aphelios and he's the gold king man he gets the money he's getting a lot of it already early in this game no kills or anything like that prioritize it very much d plus one for the grubs they ended up getting two to one there but now that we see the jungler topside yes Thorn lost his flash had to use his ultimate but it means you get a guaranteed drake stack here it will be infernal second so the game but not to mention Aphelios, who if yeah. he does get red white especially white you can really cut through the turrets zeka taking a lot of damage here from kingen just standing his ground though uh takes a fossil to the back of the head still pretty sure that's a fossil uh <laughs> with this skin and Daisy going to pop on up. It's a couple of grubs being fought for here as two plates down in the mid lane. And Hummel Life have just brute forced this one back as Glacial Prison not quite going to land. Almost hit aiming, but that's uh, that's the same team. So that one's not going to work out. So Lucid is going to have to slink back into the jungle. This is really rough for D+, because they kind of hard force trying to guarantee they end up with this massive grub advantage. The Cassante, the map kind of opens up in a big way for D+. So you know, if you're a D-plus fan, don't panic just yet. Yes, it's a significant lead. Yes, this top turret did go down. It's actually first turret. Do they lane swap just to make sure that the Ivan gets off the ground in the right way? But then they also uh, sacrifice where they need to be sacrificing. They understand that they're the composition that doesn't have the pressure on them to get things moving in the early stages. And good for D-plus to be able to get themselves this dragon. Absolutely fantastic. Ocean is going to be the... Uh, the soul that comes in, even more brushes. We've got an Ivan and an wow. Ocean Rift. My goodness, it is. There's just plants everywhere. We're going to need that guy from YouTube that cleans up people's houses for free. You know? You know the <laughs> one? Um, I, I, for some reason, went on a vortex of his videos uh, oh, more than know. recently. Oh, as Okay, Showmaker. I don't know. how to take down the outer <laughs> turret on the bottom side. Yeah, he just mows lawns. Uh, it's a lot of lawn mowing. And we're going to need a fair bit of that uh, here on this rift if, uh, if Peanut has anything to say about it. Yeah. You know, um... When they okay, King and um, he is walking the wrong direction. Yeah. Daisy's going to come up. There's an all out to interrupt the hop, and this could just be first blood right here. And there it is. It's Doran that locks it out. And his flash, by the way, was back up and available. This guy's used it already a couple of times this game. When everything else is going so Hanwa's way, they have a ton of vision bottom side for a dragon that Hanwa just didn't even really care about. And yes, it helped secure the, the turret for Showmaker, who is. Got a big injection of gold, you know, it's been behind in lane, but we'll have that Nashor's Tooth fairly soon. They're going to try to TP in and defend this turret, but feels like a pipe dream. Well, it is at least going to be Shelly getting a charge. It's now down to basically no health, as the cannon also going to be eaten by the turret. Not great. Viper just walking up with impunity, understanding that he has the range advantage, and they just don't really have too many options when has, Viper has cleanse. Exactly, he has cleanse, he doesn't care. Now Showmaker's just gonna get caught. I've seen this movie before, it in fact just happened. Magnus Storm gonna come on through, that is going to be the Emperor's Divide, but Zek is gonna turn up and Showmaker realizes that he's being checkmated. Oh, how, how do a Lifer just run in circles around D-plus this game? As he pushes yet. <laughs> And Delight able to just walk up and press Hex Splash, which is uh, just pretty crazy. Peanut goes down to about 50% as D Plus still trying to find some angles here. Daisy getting amongst it. Good handshake there onto Delight, who's taking a lot of damage. Aiming has some really good guns for this moment. Peanut going to get taken down low. Showmaker with the flash doesn't actually press the ulti button just yet, as he doesn't even have it available. But Peanut's still so incredibly low. There is an all out from Doran, though, as King is just going to crash, crush his way out of there. And no one is dead. Such a good setup for D+, because they had the Empress Divide set up that they could use defensively. Viper, there is the Empress Divide. He finally uses it into the handshake. And aiming is going to be delivered some money. All right, well, that's a huge win here for D+. That was such a good setup for D+, because they had Red White, they had Empress Divide, they had a really nice front line there. King and Snarbar, uh-oh, speaking of King and... Oh dear. Well, Zekker is going to look for the mini Nar once again. He's charging up towards the Mega, but uh, he's on about 200 health. And there he goes, not even able to get the Mega Nar. And solo kill here for Zekker, pulling ahead even further in that metric. That opportunity to head towards Baron. And in fact, they're just going to start it themselves. Lucid is currently backing, 
And the light is spotted on a ward. I imagine D plus has an inkling as to what's going on here, but can they actually get over is the question. Lucid does cancel the back, but can they actually get in? In time is the question, as King is going to have to flash over, but it's not even going to be possible. The Baron, it's just highway robbery here for Harmalive Esports. And they're thinking that maybe they'll look for a fight as well as Viper. That Mystic shot somehow weaving through and connecting onto aiming and very plus looking lost. Yeah, very short arcane shift to get him into that exact trajectory he was looking for there to hit aiming very clean. Aiming will be able to take out the sun this turret return, but D plus did not have any close wards. They knew that it was likely happening. They didn't have full vision and they didn't have great ways to teleport both of their soul laners who were very far away. So very awkwardly do teleport them in, but it's too slow and they end up losing the Baron here, losing a turret. And Showmaker? Yeah, Zekka is just going to come on over. Showmaker has to go golden. Hostile takeover is good defensively, but the big one is massive. Bailout. Oh no, Showmaker, can he actually get a kill? Here's the question. He throws down the ulti. Doran's flashing over the wall and aiming nowhere for him to go. Smashed back with a third Q. And this is looking like a shellacking wolf. Yes, it's a methodical one, but Harmalife Esports are just cruising towards the first victory in this Saturday showdown. Straight up win here for Hanwha Life. Better macro, way better objective control. A classic double 80 carry Ivern Cop. The lane swap was clean. Peanuts early passing, amazing. He's six out of eight KP. And Deep Plus get absolutely crushed. A near complete reversal of what we saw the first time these two teams met at the beginning of the season. The rumble here in the top side of the map is going to have a really strong matchup into the Cassante. It's going to be possible. He's still yeah, getting yeah. the dragon as well, Atlas, all while this is happening. And this is just Viper setting up domination in this in this game already. Like it's a it's a tough matchup into the Kaisa, but not at level five. You know, not when Viper can actually just one v two and not care about this under level Poppy. And that's just straight up a dragon. Yeah, Doran now uh, up here towards the top side is still losing out like you were talking about. But Lucid in return will get these grubs. Yep, and this is significant, obviously for what it can mean later on when you get control or the LeBlanc is hard to deal with in the side. Remember, Rumble's Q is nerfed on this patch. So yeah, I was about to say, like, nerfed, by the way. Yeah. Because Viper is still fine down here. He's got the all-in angle. Yeah, he is actually going to look for it. Does press the ultimate button. As there's Killer Instinct from aiming. is going to be able to prop the plasma as in goes Kellen. Viper surviving for the moment, but the Akathian Rain comes down, and Kellen will fall. It's a one-for-one, one, but first blood over to aiming. The kill, he was the one who got that. And the light wasn't there. He gets a kill. He gets more plate gold. And this Kaisa lead is very slight. Um, and it just feels like the inevitability of this comp later on because the Rumble also didn't get massive advantages, doesn't have teleport. Speaking oh. of. Yeah, Peanut gonna find the Glacial Prison. Kingen just looking to try and get himself out of here. Does have the Equalizer, puts it down. Beautiful position as Dorn is just gonna burn down. Kingen looking for more as well as Peanut's gonna take that hat. Harpoon to the back of the head and Flame Spitter takes him down. A double for the Rumble. That's why this champion has to be banned. Hard here, and we got outplayed. And now this Cassante is going to feel really horrible. It was already feeling like kind of tough, but you know we, we scale up. We've got the Zera, we've got the front line, we've got the double AD carry. Now it's just like, okay, Rumble domination. Yeah, and now it's looking like Shermaker going to find some domination as well. Connects a couple of chains. LeBlanc will go to sides, but if they lose that mid turret, that's when it gets really scary. When Shermaker has side lane control, Kingen has side lane control, and then you just can't farm freely because your turret is gone and Showmaker, when he's off the the, the minimap, when he pushes away and you're like, I could die at any moment. You know, yeah. he could be in any brush. And look at his items. He's got the yeah. Ludens now completed as well as some shoes. Like, there's no Trinity Force yet for Zekka. That's so strong. Zekka's forced to TP. They punish him also pretty quickly. And I mean, now he's going to get this turret bottom side. Viper trying to trade something back here, but he is so vulnerable. And it, he's keeping this turret alive, but Showmaker is about to get unlocked. Yeah, uh, Lucid as well, able to take the Rift Herald, uh, just unimpeded. I do want to say as well, I just realized why this Poppy is so good. Um, I'm going to have to hold the thought though, because Zekka is moving towards his bottom lane. And Kellen's going to turn up, there's the flash, the heroic charge, and Aiming is going to be able to put this Corky down. Delight puts up the door, Aiming says, all right, not going to fight you. But I want to talk about this bottom lane, because the thing that's beautiful about Poppy is that, oh, never mind, Viper is just in so much trouble. The chain's going to connect the flash forward from Showmaker, but it's not quite enough. And in comes Lucid 
just to try and get another charge. He will be able to get it. Warrior Trickster to try and get him out of there, but the Winter's Bite will connect. The Christmas trees come up. There's a Cyclone as Lucid going to get stunned up. Some chains are going to connect here as now Kellen gets in. Another heroic charge aiming. Going to be able to pick up another kill. And it was all a cunning ruse. It was all a bait. It's a double kill for aiming. And my God, I thought that maybe this Saturday showdown wouldn't deliver. But here it is, it turns I mean, up. Team King gets the top turret as well. They get the bottom turret. Aiming is just so fed, he can kill the Corky. A, uh, a new champion in his wheelhouse. Yeah. A little bit disappointed we don't have any Dark Seal or anything for Shurmakers. Kellum's not done. Yeah. Uh, Doran is going to be able to deny the heroic charge as he brings uh, the Poppy with him. That's an inner turret in bottom lane. And on the top side, they're not able to trade anything back. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm staying in lane. I'm killing the whole turret. I ain't going mid. I'm going to kill the champions. I'm going to kill the turret. I'm going to take all the money. Remember, if he gets another one, he is the Gold King for 2024, by the way. As uh, Viper, he's probably not, as he's going to have to get out of here as best he can. Kellen's coming on over. Oh, the buckler to the back of the noggin, but he is going to be okay for the moment. Kingen wants to find... Uh, he's just uh, okay, almost survives as the Keeper's Verdict comes in. The rest of D-plus making their way over. Killer Instinct gets aiming in there. And yes, the rumble goes down, but that's a great knockup. So never mind, it is just a one-for-one -one in the end. We hear it very quickly, but he still shows up. Yep. We're going to have a look at this fight. Or, uh, okay, Viper actually not able to be killed, but Showmaker gets back to the distortion and will survive. At least, you know, just barely. Only 40 health remaining. His aiming is just going to solo kill the Braum. I think that was a Void Seeker landing problem. And now he's going to look for Peanut. That Void Seeker did not land, and so he is going to back away. And I don't actually think it was. I think uh, Kaz Aiming didn't have Killer Instinct. So never mind. Uh, that's just a dead delight. Just saying, Atlas, yeah. our, our assessment of D, you know, when they play their style, I like know. W. When they play the, play the other style, uh, looking like an L. Um, it's precisely <laughs> what we were saying in the setup. Like, yeah. it's the, the team that's the most easy to analyze. Caught by it. He, um, <laughs> I just wanted to give myself a bit of a technically right sure. um, for that one, uh, but Baron, not what I was uh, thinking happened at all. On spawn, Showmaker's holding the door. He may get oh, punished. Yeah, Glacier Prison going to come down. Keeper's verdict is that uh, Peanut is not allowed in here, but Showmaker might be taken down. He's trying to distort his way out of there. Viper is able to help take him down, but the Baron is the trade. And I think that if you were going to check the, you know, the, 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 the receipts at the end, that's probably working out for D+. Plus. That is, he is going to get punished here, but as you say, with Kellen coming in, tossing out the ult, there's just no one who can get anywhere close to the Baron. Showmaker, I don't want to say he almost gets out there, but he certainly buys plenty of time as over here. All right, some bounty gold going yeah. on over to Hummel Life Esports, as that means that the Baron power play is going to be negative, but that might be changing pretty soon as Showmaker's teleported in. Doran is teleporting out via the Death Chamber. Um, and D plus now with a 5v4 scenario should be able to amplify their Baron power play. And uh, yeah. Doran dying there, we'll say it's a negative uh, for Hanma Life. We're still looking at the receipts, you know, we're still doing some accounting on this game as... Man, like, Showmaker's LeBlanc has the most main character energy ever. As we're going to go into this team fight, Delight is going to get taken down pretty quickly here. Showmaker just needs another couple of spells, but never mind. Delight will survive. And, oh, no. <laughs> Void Seeker is actually going to be the thing that kills him this time. Justice for Atlas wanting to know how people die this game because there's just so much Atlas. Uh, Atlas? There's so much action all over the map. Breaking my brain wall. He's sitting on two items right now. Aiming is on three and a half. He has a ton of money, and the burst potential is just so real that Doran, he just doesn't have a prayer. Even though he's Cassante, he's sitting on two items, he's got Merc Treads, he just doesn't live very long. Well, Equalizer is going to deny this push, so Armor Life Esports not going to be able to find this inner turret as the Drake is going to be secured here by D+. Cloud Soul feels fantastic. Haven't actually spoken about it just yet. The other thing about this ba Baron power play being so low is there's just not a lot of stuff to kill. They kind of killed it already. There's yeah, not a lot of suffering from yet. success a yeah. little bit here as Aiming is going to find a Void Seeker. Peanut says top of the morning to you, and then he's going to die. Uh, aiming going to get his ninth. He's really uh, aiming for the 1,500 kills, you know? Down the, uh, the mid lane and taking down an inhibitor turret. Uh, it's all right. He's just going to chase down Peanut here as well. Incathian Rain, pretty scary. And the more this plasma stacks up, the more dangerous it gets as Harpoon, even that, is looking a bit scary. 
Astro make it diving forward. Oh, Kellen just takes that prison to the noggin, but he's still able to keep them on this equalizer for quite some time. Cyclone comes in, and now King is just flashing for Viper. They take down Delight to start this one off. Doran is limping into his jungle. Zekka going to be taken down by Lucid. Nimbus Strike's going to sort that one out. Peanut is flashing away, and Showmaker is searching for Viper, wanting to kill him just one more time in this game. Is definitely a very slippery champion. So that's yeah. going to be a tough one as he does manage to at least tag in there with that burst fire. But there goes the Zeri and there goes game number two and we get a decider in today's Saturday showdown. An absolutely fantastic one. This, remember guys, this is for second place for all intents and purposes. D plus, they managed to do it last time around. They're seeing whether they can do it again. Game one wasn't close. Neither was game two, but we're still going to a game number three. It's absolutely fantastic. Bit of fun here on the Nexus as the Equalizer is going to come down one more time. They can kill this if they would like to, but they want to get more kills for aiming. 10, 0, and 2 now on this Kaiser as now they're going to back away because respawns have come in. Uh, okay, let's see what we can actually find here as Lucid's on about 10 health. Burning, burning. There's a Cyclone to try and stop it. It's Killer Instinct into the back line and aiming just kills everyone. It's the triple, and I guess it was a bait all along. I, I don't know. <laughs> 13 kills for the Kaisa. The Gold King will take out the Nexus, and we're going to a third one. You best believe he's taking this kill as well, and there it is. 14 in the end of the day, or at the end of this game. They have to play around Narbar, so that can get very tricky. But also, you have to play around Narbar and Steadfast Presence now, because yeah. the hop slash crush into these fights can just be denied by the Poppy. So on Vision right now, and Peanut is here as well. It is four people from Hummer Life Esports in this area. Lucid now going to be set up. The three versus two in this isolated scenario as they do manage to get. Oh, the heroic charge is so good. That is first blood going over to Kellen. And now it is a two versus two. Jace is going to be here a little bit late though. And Zekka gets the roam over. Now Lucid trying to turn it to light. Flashes away and it's a one for one trade in the end. Kill going over to the Tristana here versus going over to the Poppy. Definitely a trade up even with the first blood. Going to D+, plus, Hanwha Life winning out on this one in a big way. We saw the teleport from King and Bot side during all of that. Wasn't able to help out or be involved. Didn't want Zeri to get those extra plates. He still gets two. And HLE, definitely the big winners of this one. They will lose this top side scuttle. But I think that is definitely going to feel like a consolation prize more than anything else here for the side of D+. Plus. Really good way to turn a, a really tough situation into an okay one, though. Snap decision is King and will get the stun. Snap yep. decision there from Kellen to guarantee they can blow up that Gnar instantly because otherwise this could have gone even worse. I think that was really well played considering they were on the wrong side of the map to actually skirmish that. Yeah, I think uh, Showmaker as well. Lose, uh, missing a few of the, the lane control that he did have hit six before Doran was able to get there because of course he did have his stint in the death chamber earlier on and will finally hit level six now. Peanut coming on over and should be able to steal this. Yeah, it does so with the smite up and available. The light plasma going to get proc, so a fair bit of damage onto the Leona, but she is very tanky. Doran moving down towards the river here as Showmaker starting his back just to make sure that he's here to try and protect Lucid if possible. And he is going to be able to secure it there, and we'll be able to take down the Rift Scuttle. So, a couple of grubs going on over. We've got a little bit of a fight here towards the bottom side as well. Shield of Daybreak comes in as Viper looking to try and chase after the Poppy. He does so. Can Aiming get the kill back? Killer Instinct comes in. One more auto will do it. There he finally finds it. And now looking to try and take down Delight as well, but the Leona is pretty scary. Super Charger, there it is, and it's a double for aiming. Oh dear! The setting Showmaker up, so really um, gr great start here for Zekka, and we'll see what he can do with sizes. Lucid, yeah, oh. Lucid is going to dive on forward. Does have the ulti? He's going to miss it. The Nah does come out as Lucid's going to have to flash, and Doran just wandering his way through. Ah, oh, that was just not exactly what Lucid was looking for there. These Glacial Prisons have been really hard to hit this week. Are set, and he does survive here. Peanut also coming up, so if they had tried to stick around and try to set up another stacked wave, then it would have been disastrous with all that turret damage coming through. And then he has Meganar, and they cannot reach him. Yeah, and Shomik is now in trouble as well. Buster Shot's going to come on through, and yeah, the Nature's Grasp, not even necessary. It's Z Plus going to... Finally, uh, get some free time to take down this dragon. Very late first dragon here at 12.30. Might even be able to get more. Yeah, there is Kellen in the area, aiming. Peanut's here. Do what he can. Yeah, Peanut 
Comes around. That is going to be the turret falling, though, as there's the flash out. Steadfast Presence comes in. A huge win for Hanwha Life, but Kellen is really making a case as a counter pick to Leona. Yep. Well, there's a Glacial Prison. This one's going to hit, but Delight, he has Eclipse. Uh, it is going to wear off, though, so he's going to die. Aiming collects his third killing spree for the Kai'Sa. Farm, but there's no threat. There's no way to shut him down right now, so. D plus have to be proactive. They have to be setting up stuff like this where the Shadow Showmaker and allow him to get into a side. Remember in game one, he tried to do this but failed. Uh, on the bottom side, yeah, Showmaker is going to be out of secure it there. Does sacrifice a bit of his health bar, but the Rift Herald does come down and that's looking to break open this outer turret in mid lane. Big tempo swing if they do manage to take it down. Speaking of free time, is here in the top lane. He should be able to, after denying a significant amount of farm, just killing these minions, take this turret down. So. Despite not getting the full turret in mid lane, they are able to trade top and bottom turrets here. But it went over first. Oh. Showmaker. Yeah, Kellen moving in, aiming, actually going to have to flash out of that play. Keep his verdict to try and keep Delight interested in this play as Viper does have to flash. Gets himself out of the way of that one. The Shock Blast is going to connect almost the last hit with the Glacial Prison. And it is the Winter's Wrath that's able to lock down the Leona now. Zekka is rocket jumping in. Lucid just going to stand his ground, but the AoE bit damage is just gigantic. Kellen tries to get Viper out of that fight. He almost picks up the kill, actually, as Kingen looking for Zekka. He flashes over. He is indeed a ruthless predator and will be able to take down the Tristana. And somehow the kill goes to aiming. The, I mean, the, the fight there is on a nice head showmaker. Yeah, Killer Instinct comes in, and that's a fed. Kaisa for you sets it up. Bunch of money. A Tristana, a Zeri. And they are pushing on an inner turret, and you can tell exactly why D Plus are trying to defend this. Lucid going to be coming in. The Nature's Grass comes down. Doran is really, really dead, but they get the Crocodile as well. Two top laners both lying on the ground as now D Plus are going to chase out Hamwa from this play. They weren't able to take down the turret. And Kellen looking for an angle. Delight moving forward might be a mistake. There is a heroic charge. Does push him towards the wall, but not into it. And Kellen's going to be punished. That's going to be the kill, and it's in fact Delight that grabs it. Cheer so, yeah. from Hanwha just yet. Zekka may be in danger. Yeah, uh, the Glacial Prison does go wide, but Zekka is jumping the wrong direction. That's a killer instinct, and that is a dead Tristana. Side lane pick comes in. Started. You know what? They are just going to start this one up, and Aiming will have to back off the Dragon. Let's see whether D-Plus can dissuade them from completing this, as there is Vision up and available. Lucid going to go in, look for a 50-50, and there Whoa. it is. The Keeper's Verdict gets the jungler out of there. Kellen tries to relieve them of any sort of re-engage, but Kingen now finds himself in a very unfortunate position. He is still just slicing and dicing, acting all cool, but he is still going to be put down. That is going to be Zekka locking that one up. And D-Plus are going to also claim themselves a Ocean Drake. That is going to be secured as well. So the Baron and everything else, and man, the Poppy, it only has to do like a couple of things. Doran getting closer to an but very far forward. Yeah, Doran actually going to get engaged on here just a little bit. Kellen going to be the one punished for it though, and Viper, he collects that kill, and now is it the Zeri moment? Have we waited 32 minutes for it? We have indeed. It's a double. Think has just put his Infinity Edge together as well. That's a powerful one. It's, oh dear, I don't know about that one, Delight, as he goes way too far, but Keeper's Verdict gets him out of there, and Viper is just by himself. Oh my goodness, these Poppy ults have been absolutely gigantic. Still, Life Esports on this dragon. And Light. the health bars are getting lower and lower. Showmaker, the one that can sort of stand up front as Peanuts able to lock this one down despite the fact that they lost their main character, they're still able to do it. Yeah, Delight with a really big mistake here in terms of the engage, but it may not necessarily matter in these team fights because there's a double AD carry composition here. Delight actually lives because he has Aftershock, he has Eclipse, he has a Locket, and then he actually walks away. He's like, I got more mocks and I'm back to full health, so it doesn't matter. They end up losing Viper, but they're able to lock down the Dragon, so definitely worth here. Now, Baron is live. Viper isn't up for 10, and that's enough time here now for D plus to, to go over here. So yeah, you got the Dragon. You don't have map control here. Yeah, and that should mean that D-Plus can just stand here and take it. Keeper's Verdict isn't up and available, though, so there is a 50-50 opportunity. Peanut getting towards the pit, but it is going to be the Baron going down. Can they win the team fight, though, is the question. As Kellen, the first one to explode. Killer Instinct into the back line is aiming, trying to get it done. There goes Zekker. It's a double for Doran, though, and he's trying to get it some work done, but it's just not working because aiming is just too big on this Kaiser Doran with double buffs looking to try and run away. But can be an angle with the Kaiser having death cap. 
And the Zephyr as well. Like, he is full, full, full build. Yeah, he is an absolute monster. The Void Seeker. I'm going to sail wide. And All right, 10 seconds. Yeah. That is going to be Peanut carried towards Kellen and Showmaker here as Nature's Grasp not getting a whole lot of value. There's a Glacial Prison connecting. Peanut kind of out of the fight for the moment. Void Seeker not going to connect. Now, Hammer Life Esports finding themselves some time with this dragon. Oh, could we have a seven elemental? That could be pretty fun. There we go. That's at least six. Is this fight going to work out though? Is Delight already down so incredibly low? Void Seeker, they're all, all of them, so incredibly dangerous. Shock Blast now connecting. Doran on the side as Kingen is now looking for an opportunity. Keeper's Verdict not going to be in range of anything at all as Lucid still just corralling as best he can. Hanwha, they're just going to get out though. Yeah, looks like they do get out, but trying to engage here could be a, a bit of a disaster. Yeah, wanting to be able to get themselves a red buff here as well as Viper has just thrown down the ulti. Kellen finds himself on the wrong side of the fight. The slows are massive from these saplings. Extendo Beam's going to get so many flashes, and the boomerang's going to connect from Doran. Showmaker, will he be able to keep himself alive? The answer is no, because Viper is flashing after him, and there's only 50 seconds left. Taking the pace, if aiming is not landing, poke constantly. If 5v5 is just not winnable for their composition, it starts off really well. 4D plus with the poke landing, but they can't actually get through this vision quickly enough, and the damage is so high on Viper at 40 minutes in this game that it's taken out instantly. And then, yes, Delight insanely low here, but look at what happens next. Hanna Life kite back, Delight heals up a little bit. They use some of their CC to bail it out, and then Viper is the one who actually goes in for the engage as D plus are split. And he's hitting so many of these extendo beams. His poke is so real. They say, oh, King's left side. Not a lot of CC for Viper oh, here. Extendo that beam extendo is huge. beam was nuts. And then he's just like, who's the poke cop? Is it your <laughs> cop or is it me? And now they're on the Baron. It's getting taken down very, very low. Uh, Remember Grass TP? Yeah, we have to be very careful of Kellen, who now has his ulti interrupted. There is the Baron going over to Hummer Life Esports. That's going to be their first of the game. But now the flank angle from King, and can he find Viper? Is the question. The answer is yes, and Aiming's going to be able to execute him. Now they're looking for more. Zekka is still an AD carry in this fight, but he's pushed away. Delight going to be punished as well. And D plus Kia in the clutch. They find the pick they were looking for. Well, starting to land, Edge of Night here from Showmaker to keep him safe as he steps forward. Blank from Kingen. Yeah, on a control ward here as well. Peanut senses it as there's a Glacial Prison. Delight goes in, a little bit split on the call here for Hummer Life Esports. And Kingen now just going to walk over a sapling. And slow yeah, backs here for Plus. Two 80 carries. Yeah, I mean, like, if they get any time at all, these just explode. You can see it's already dead. It was just looked at, considered for a moment or two, as there is two missing from this fight. Now Doran and Delight out of position. Viper trying to be the hero, but I think Doran's going to go down. That's another one for aiming, but in goes Delight. They find the kill under Showmaker. Can King and get any CC down? The answer is not quite yet. As Killer Instinct, there's the 1v1 between the 280 carries. Viper's down to his GA. And Zekka, he's going to be eliminated as well. Aiming goes into his Sonyas, but then he's taken out from Viper. the grave as Viper, Viper is still alive. And he's able to get the double, and Hummer Life Esports, against everything, are going to be able to take the series over D+. The high-value lifesteal there from Viper. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.